Hey everybody, this is Scope. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. In the last episode, we kicked one on his ass and made some headway through Route 120, and Chomper evolved in this spot that we are now standing in. So, um, since Chomper is not really a Chomper anymore, he doesn't really have the big head or the, you know, nom nomer going on. He's just kind of like a dragon now. A nice, tame, calm little dragon. But he's ground type too, so he's like made of sand. So he's like a sand dragon. So I was thinking, he's gonna need a new nickname since he's no longer a Chomper. And what is an epic name for a sand dragon? Well, that's easy. Let's think about the most epic game of all time, Shadow of the Colossus, and think of a sand dragon. That's right. You are thinking of Phalanx. That is his new name. Vibrava is now Phalanx because my favorite sand dragon of all time was Phalanx from Shadow of the Colossus, and I just think that's epic. I don't care what you think it is. But it's epic. <coughs> Whoa. Oh, victory sneeze. Okay, so, what I did is I decided not to teach Phalanx uh, Aerial Ace because he already has Fly, and I took your guys' advice from the comments, and I taught Aerial Ace to Chigbuskin. I got rid of Peck since Aerial Ace is pretty much just a better move altogether. And that's pretty much all I did. Also, I ordered my Pokemon in order of importance leveling-wise here. Um, what I'm actually going to do is forego Kujo for a minute, and I'm going to level up Argon, because he's only three levels away from evolving at level 32, so fudge yes. Let's do it. Alright, let's move on. What? I used a super repel, I think. Maybe. Not sure. Run! What? Argon, really? You can't run from a Shuppet? Dude, Shuppet is like shit. Oh, what's this? Okay, we move out to Mount Pyre. All right. Okay, so they sat there to... All right. Anyways, it looks like some more Aqua shenanigans are going on. They're moving on to Mount Pyre. Oh, shit. Well, we've got some uncuttable mushrooms here that we can't mess with. Uh, down this way, that is Mount Pyre. But if we do continue this way, we will run into a secret base and some other cool things. These chicks aren't going to fight us unless we talk to them. But you know what? Hell yes, let's do it. Oh uh, yeah, Kujo and Argon can take these guys. Together, we're fearless. We'll demonstrate how tough we are. I'll demonstrate how tough your face is by punching it. No, just kidding. Anyways, guys, if I seem a little loopy, I apologize, but it is 2.31 in the morning. Why am I recording, you ask? Well, because I got nothing better to do. Tomorrow's my day off, so I figured, why not? Why not just uh, record now, since, you know, it's going to be hard to find time otherwise. Oh, like in all honesty, guys, I I don't want to I don't want to seem like what is it? I'm, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. I just don't want to seem greedy or selfish, you know, anything like that. But honestly, I just I hate my job so much right now. We have got so many people quitting, and it is honestly becoming unbearable. Like the hours and the amount of work being expected of us. And it's just for the pay, it's just like, what? This isn't a job anymore. It's like fucking torture, you know? So all I know is it sucks really bad, and I need to get out of there because it's affecting my sanity. It's affecting my commentary and my Let's Playing uploads, you know, because I haven't, don't have time to record anymore. And when I do, I'm shitty in a shitty mood. It's just affecting my life altogether. And I don't like it, you know? I really need to get out of there. Before it was bearable, but now it's just like, God, kill me, you know? So, you know, I don't, I know you're not supposed to talk about this in your Let's Play videos, and even if you, you even if you want it, you're not supposed to talk about it. That's just frowned upon in the community here, but you know what? I just, I'm not one to stick with the status quo here. I'm just gonna, you know, raise the bar, because if we, if you, if we, if we stuck with the status quo all throughout history, we would never make advancements as a society. So, you know, I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say, you know what, I want to be partnered. I really do. Because if I can get partnered and make money off of YouTube, which, you know, of course everybody wants that, why wouldn't you want to make money? It's like you can do what you love and make money. That's, that's the definition of having your dream job. That's like a goal in life. Why would you not want that, you know? So, like, I've always wanted to do something with games, you know, but I'm not smart enough to be, like, a game producer or designer or some shit like that, so I don't have many options. And I certainly don't want to be doing this. 
And you know what, if I could quit this job right now, I tell you what, it would make my life 120 million jillion percent happier. And that would be awesome. Like, who wouldn't want that? I don't know, but the point is, I just really want to be a partner because, you know, I want to do this. I don't want to be working as a waiter and fucking hating my life, you know, and wishing... Okay, but enough of that. Anyways, let's move on. Let's talk about the game here. So this is the Safari Zone, filled with rare Pokemon. Now, you can go in here and try to catch Pokemon and whatnot. It's a little different from previous generations. Uh, if we talk to these guys here, they will explain about it. Um, so just $500. Uh, yeah, I mean, it kind of works the same as red, blue, and yellow, I guess. Except what you do here is you can put Pokeblocks on these little pedestals in here. And Pokeblocks, you don't know what those are. You have a pretty much... It has to do with, uh, so you can go on the grass here and just try to catch Pokemon. But, uh, Pokeblocks, you make them by putting berries into the machines in contest halls, and it will make certain Pokeblocks. Now, if you put certain Pokeblocks on certain feeders, it will attract certain kinds of Pokemon in the grass near the area. We don't have any right now, but that's pretty much what that does. That's a whole concept here in the Safari Zone. But, you want to know what I have to say about this? I don't want to do it, because there's no Pokemon here I really want, especially since we already have our whole team set out, so screw this. But other than that, you can just, you know, look up how you need to get the Pokemon you want and do it. So yeah. Alright, now what I could do is go down to Mount Pyre like we're supposed to, but you know what? I want to get to Lily Cove City, which is the next city here, and we got to continue heading east to get there. The reason I want to do that is because we got some trainers, so we can train before we get to Mount Pyre. And it's also because... I want to be able to just fly back to Lily Cove once we've done our dirty deeds down south. With my Pokemon, I've traveled around the world's four corners. You might say I have some confidence in my abilities. You also have confidence in your ass. And that terrible hat, gentleman Walter. Now, Walter, what do you got, a Manetric? Ha! <laughs> Manetrics are awesome. Fine, I'll give it to you. Spark is weak. Or not. Dude, what the fuck, Argon? Why are you asleep? I'm not... I guess I was ranting and not paying attention there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to switch Pokemon, fine. But Argon, you will gain some of the experience, so don't trip, bro. Don't trip, B. Freaking asleep on the job, man. You gotta pay attention more. This is not a vlog video here. Manetric, you spark. Boom. Oh, ouch. Nice. Alright, I see how this is gonna play out. I see how this is working right now. I definitely see how you want this to go. We're going to play the Gift Scope of Bad Time today game, alright. So, you know, we're just, every attack's going to get a critical. All my Pokemon are going to die. You know, it's, it's going to be an altogether bad day. A lot of random battles, that makes a bad day too. But you know what, it's fine, it's good. I don't know, it's all good fun, right? <laughs> alright, Manetric, you can die now, I've had enough of you. Oh, never mind, yeah, just that one little extra little thing you got to add on there. Just paralyze me as a little going away present. I appreciate that, Manetric. You know, go die in a hole. I'll personally bury you. Ah, oh, well played. You're damn right it was well played. Now get off me so I can get this item. What was it? Oh, the carbos, but the bag is full. <laughs> Yay! Alright, well, you know what? We can take advantage of this. Let's turn this into a positive situation. We can use a paralyzed heal and heal Chick Buskin of his paralyzed status. We can also use a full heal and heal Argon of his sleeping status. And what else do we got that we can use? We can use a regular revive and heal Kujo of his death status. And now let's use some hyper potions. Now a lot of you guys asked why I'm using hyper potions when my Pokemon have less than 100 HP to heal them. Well the answer is simple. In battle, taking as little turns to heal is critical. For example, if Argon had 10 HP left, or you know, say Chick Buskin had like 3 HP left, and I was going to die, so I wanted to use a potion. Say I used a super potion. A super potion will heal 50 HP. I'd have 53 HP left. The Pokemon attacked me. You got a critical. I die. That's it. Chick Buskin doesn't gain any experience. Say I use a hyper potion. That will heal all of my HP. Chick Buskin will have 80 HP. Maybe survive the critical. And live to fight. And maybe kill them. Gain the experience. And ultimately, that's what we're working for. Is experience in this game. So... You know, the point is I just would rather be able to fully heal myself in one turn than fully heal myself in two turns, because turns are not something you can be wasting in this game, so... 
That's why, and the money is no object, really. There's plenty of money in this game, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, what's over here? Nothing. Alright, well, probably a hidden item, but I don't care. Alright, let's fight this chick. Uh, sure, I guess. I, I mean, if by play with them you mean attack them until they faint, then yes, I will play with your Pokemon. Oh, it's a Pikachu. Well, I'm not going to talk shit, because the last electric Pokemon I talked shit about whooped my ass. I mean, in all fairness, I was asleep, so... Quick attack? Really? I mean... Yeah, look at that. Iron Tail, not very effective, but look how much damage it does. I mean, Iron Tail is just friggin' awesome. It's fawesome. Frawsome. Oh, an Orin Berry. How remedial is that? Alright, well, another Iron Tail will take you down if I hit it. Heh <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, three damage. God, I love Argon. No homo. Alright, you're dead. And I gain crap experience because you're a first evolved Pokemon. You're a Pikachu. You're a Bichichu. I'm trying to speak more softly, too, because in that Yu-Gi-Oh! finale episode, I was just yelling and it was over the top and my... I had to do so much crap to make that episode, like, my audio bearable. It was bad. Okay, these are Nana berries. Uh, that's banana backwards, but without the last A, so it's banana backwards. But if you called it an Anab, an Anab berry, that would just be weird. Alright, so with that, I believe... Yes, we have reached Lily Cove City. Quite the awesome city, actually. And uh, it's one of the biggest cities in the game, and it's where our final rival battle will take place. I need to stop spoiling stuff. Anyways, we're just going to heal here really quick. And uh, now that we've completed our task of getting here, so that we can fly here later, we're good! So now let's head down to Mount Pyre where the Aquas were fucking around, and let's kick their balls. I was going to say kick their ass, but then I would have said fucking ass right in a row, and that would have been way too much cussing. So, yeah. That's good. I thought I... Four go. I four went to that. All right, so this is Mount Pyre. What's up, lady? Ahead looms Mount Pyre. It is a natural monument to the spirits of departed Pokemon. Okay, so it's like Lavender Tower, Mount Pyre Pier. The sign is old and worn out. The words are barely legible. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, let's surf. Oh yeah. Whoa, dude! Don't jump right back off your whale, man. That's you gotta get back on. Man, Sharpedo's got that huge fin that probably pokes me in my balls. That probably hurts. <clears throat> Alright, Super Repel, yes. Winning. Alright, we are now on officially Route 122, as they call it, but it is also home to Mount Pyre, which is this ginormous building of death and destruction. Uh, so let's go here, sure. Let's check it out. We'll, hit, we'll check out Route 123 later. So this is Mount Pyre, and there are random battles in here, so that sucks. So use some repels or something. These first floor people aren't going to mess with you, so let's talk to them. Talk. Did you come to pay respect to the spirits of departed Pokemon? Um, no, actually, I just followed Team Aqua. This is the final resting place of my Zigzagoon. I cherished it. Dude, that sucks. I am so sorry to hear that. Honestly, I'm not going to poke fun at that guy. It's just sad. All sorts of beings wander the slopes of Mount Pyre. There is no telling what may happen. Take this, it's for your own good. And we get the cleanse tag. So if you have lower level Pokemon or don't have a repel, equip cleanse tag to your first Pokemon in your party, and it will repel random battles somewhat. It kind of doesn't work, but, you know, it's there. All right, so this is outside, and we can check out the uh, outer area of Mount Pyre here. It's kind of interesting. Uh, it's kind of freaky, too. The music here is weird. And we get TM48! I love the TM get music. It's a lot better than the regular item music. Alright, so what's TM48, you ask? Well, it is Skill Swap, which switches abilities with the foe on the turn this is used. That's just rarely useful. Alright, so we are climbing higher on Mount Pyre here, and the effect, Repel's effect wore off. I was going to say the Rafael effect wore off. Ooh, we're getting higher here. What do we got? Some gravestones. And they even got these things on the outside. That's crazy. Dude, I just used a shit ton of items. How is my bag full? This is becoming a serious issue. Alright, I'm never going to need the Moonstone. Uh, fuck the Ether, I've got Max Ethers. Um, let's use that Carbos. I need to sell that Smoke Ball. Or that uh, Nugget, I mean. Okay, so what does Carbos enhance? It enhances speed. So who's our slowest Pokemon? Argon is actually pretty slow. Sure, let's use it on him. Alright, now give me my Max Potion. Jeez, man.
Jeez Louise, what is that? Alright, so we are almost at the summit here. This, this was pretty easy of a trek. I bet you thought we were going to have to climb all the stairs and everything. Oh, and there's an Ultra Ball hidden in the gravestone. That's just wrong. Alright, well, you know what that means. I'm going to... Let's head up here to the to the summit. Ooh, now we're officially on Mount Pyre. Oh my god, Aqua's... Dude, I just ran right into that guy. I'll show you how exactly how scary Team Aqua can be. Oh, it looks like we've got a line of Aquas here guarding something. And this is funny, because in Lavender Tower, when you got to the top of the tower, you had rockets positioned in this exact position, like one on the left, one on the right, one on the left, guarding uh, Mr. Fuji over there. So, I don't know, that's just weird to me, because this place is like Lavender Tower-esque. It's the grave site, and we've just got people guarding at the top in the exact positions. I don't know, I found that weird. Do you guys find that weird? I find it weird. Argon just... God, really? <laughs> really, man? You had to confuse me. We both know Argon doesn't handle confusion well. Oh, there we go. A level 30 Zubat, really? Am I that underleveled right now? To where Zubats are higher level than me? Wing attack, push -aw. Dude, it's just like, Argon is such a wall. You know what I mean? He even do his own attacks somewhat when he hits himself. Quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting yourself. Alright, Argon, you're confused. Yada yada yada, Metal Claw! Is this the only Pokemon this guy has? I sure hope so. Ooh, my attack rose, yay. Oh, so close. What, he's got another Zubat? Ugh. Oh my god, this guy has three Pokemon. And they're all level 30? Wow, I am behind. Uh, yeah, that's weak. Alright, Iron Tail. Thank god you snapped out. Snap out of it, Rock. <clears throat> Man, my voice has just gone to shit. Dr. Pepper to the rescue. Alright, actually I'm glad he has three Pokemon because now Argon's going to grow to level 30. Iron Tail. Dude, you're going to keep using that and it's going to keep sucking. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Pfft, ball sack. Don't confuse me. You bastard. I knew you were going to do that. I just knew it. Ugh. Why? Why? Yeah, my voice is definitely screwed. It's crackling and rackling. Alright, you should be dead now. Thank you! And yes, level 30, two levels away. Yes, we can do it, we can do it. So you think you can stand up alone to Team Aqua's might? That's pretty much what I'm saying, but just by being here, bro. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we've got some hidden shenanigans back here. There's gotta, oh come on, there's gotta be something back here. No. What about right here? No. Alright, anyways guys, we looks like we are out of time for this episode. We're at like 17 minutes. Ooh, we've got some grass back here. Wait, what's this? This is intriguing. Nothing? Damn, well, there's probably something. I'm just not finding it. Anyways, in the next episode we will continue at Mount Pyre and see what Team Aqua is guarding here. It's got to be something important, so we'll do that then. See you guys next time.